A 74-year-old woman comes to the emergency department due to two days of left leg pain and numbness. She has a history of atrial fibrillation and hypertension. Her left lower limb is pale and cold to palpation below the knee. Arterial Doppler ultrasound shows an occluding thrombus and a left femoral embolectomy is performed. Post-procedure dorsalis pedis and posterior tibial pulses become palpable. Several hours later, the patient begins to experience severe left calf pain. On repeat examination, the left calf is swollen, tense and tender, and the pain worsens with dorsiflexion of the left foot. The distal pulses are also absent. The physician suspects injury of the reperfused muscles in part due to overproduction of reactive oxygen species. The question is, which of the following enzymes is most likely to help neutralize these toxic molecules? If you are one of the smartest people on Earth, type the correct choice in the comment box below. A. Cytochrome oxidase B. Cytochrome P450C, myeloperoxidase D, and ADPH oxidase E superoxide dismutase. I am guessing you did not get the answer right. The correct choice is E, which is superoxide dismutase. The vignette describes acute compartment syndrome secondary to reperfusion injury. Restoration of arterial blood flow to an affected limb. Floods ischemic tissue with oxygen. Molecular oxygen reacts with xanthine oxidase, NADPH oxidase, and nitric oxide synthase to form reactive oxygen species such as superoxide hydroxyl radicals and singlet oxygen. Reactive oxygen species disrupt cellular functions leading to DNA mutations, protein synthesis disruption, and membrane lipid peroxidation. Antioxidant enzymes such as superoxide dismutase, glutathione peroxidase, and catalase convert reactive oxygen species to oxygen and water, neutralizing their capacity for cellular damage. Reactive oxygen species generated during cellular respiration are typically neutralized by antioxidants before they become problematic. However, in the post-ischemic state, the production of reactive oxygen species exceeds the neutralizing capabilities of antioxidant enzymes' high oxidative stress, leading to increased cell injury and death. Now let's see why you were wrong. Choice A cannot be right answer because cytochrome oxidase is the final component of the electron transport chain and functions to convert molecular oxygen to water while establishing the proton gradient necessary for synthesis of ATP. Choice B cannot be right answer because cytochrome P450 enzymes metabolize endogenous toxins as well as drugs. They are capable of producing reactive oxygen species which can contribute to the hepatotoxicity seen with certain drugs. Choice C cannot be right answer because myeloperoxidase is found in neutrophils and converts hydrogen peroxide to hypochlorous acid, a bactericidal compound that also causes oxidative damage to host cells. Choice D cannot be right answer because NADPH oxidase catalyzes the reduction of molecular oxygen to superoxide-free radicals, aiding in bacterial destruction by phagocytic cells. Deficiency leads to chronic granulomatous disease in which those affected are unable to destroy catalase-positive organisms. If you already knew the answer or at least now know the correct one, click the like button.